I was so excited. I was about to just pounce on that. Cat back there, yes! And then there was, you know, that little break that happened. Yeah. Anyway, listen, it is your birthday today, and you don't always have to celebrate your birthday with a cake. Sometimes a mouth-watering pudding will do just the trick. And winter is the perfect time for something sweet and indulgent. So how about trying out this no-bake cheesecake pudding that Chef Clem has whipped up for us. And this pudding can be broken into uh, four, um, four actions. There's the crushing, there's the mixing, then there's the layering and the sprinkling all of which are delicious. Very simple, plus it's loaded with Woolies Sweet Biscuits as well. Oh, I'm so excited. You've become quite the cake boss very recently there. I just feel like everything should just be a cake. How about it? Yeah. How about it? And also, I feel like we don't celebrate enough in life. You waking up this morning? Celebrate! celebrate. You just had a glass of water. Celebrate. celebrate! I don't know, like what else, what else? What? Are you I mean, I'm looking at your face. Celebrate! celebrate. Why not? It's I a mean, vibe. It is a vibe. Waking up positive every morning and celebrating. I mean, imagine how amazing your day would just be if you just wake up every day celebrating. And celebrate! And what do you need to celebrate? You it's need... You need cake. <laughs> so we're making some cake this morning. I nah, love it nah, so nah. much. It's, it's amazing. I love it it's so amazing. much. So and this, this looks absolutely yeah. good. I'll tell you what, cheesecake brings back great memories. When I was in high school, I used to work at a restaurant where I would use up my earnings as a runner. Uh, that we get tipped from the waiter uh -huh. for cleaning their tables. And every Sunday, after the Sunday lunch that we get for free, after working a whole week, I treat myself with cheesecake. I like that. Like that would be my ultimate reward like for the that. week. Like you worked hard during the week cleaning tables. Uh -huh. Now you can have some cheesecake. Was it baked cheesecake? Uh, it was, yes, it was baked. Yeah. It was yeah. baked cheesecake. So this guy is not a baked cheesecake. It's more of like a fridge set cheesecake. Yes. But it's still gonna be extremely delicious. It looks so good. So it starts off like all cheesecakes should and do. We're using some cream cheese uh -huh. and that's going to go into our bowl. There's two tubs in here and that's going to give you that tanginess, that creaminess, that texture. Are we at uh, room temperature right now with that, with that cream cheese? That's you should be. Right? It's a little chilly, yeah. but you should be at room temperature. As we know, when you're baking or when you're working with like sweet ingredients like this, having everything at the same temperature means it all comes together mm -hmm. evenly yeah, and like yeah. more consistently. So we've got the tang, the twang, the creaminess from our cream cheese. Lovely. A little bit of sweet. So we're gonna go with condensed milk. Oh, there we go, there we go. I feel like when I have these cooking segments, I should just have a backup of music ready for me because that was a bow, bow, bow moment. That, oh, oh, it's actually, okay. Was it not? Is that, is that the, the soundtrack to condensed milk? That's the condensed milk soundtrack, <laughs> for sure. You should wait till we do the chocolate soundtrack. Oh, oh. It's, gonna be, it's gonna be lit. Send the kids to the room. Just joking, no, I'm just joking, just joking. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay, <laughs> so we got the sweetness from the condensed milk and the cream cheese is in there. So what I'm gonna do now is add some cream to it. That's just gonna help it set beautifully and add more creaminess to it. Yeah, so, yeah. so the reason we're making this dessert today yeah. is because if we go to Woolies right now, you get any two rusks, any two biscuits and you get 20% off. That means you get Any two food. rusks, any two biscuits, 20% yeah. off. So I've been talking about these waffle rusks. We, we, last week was a rusk week, officially. Yes. So we're talking about these waffle rusks. We actually had them here today. So, I mean, if you're going to need to store now, you can actually go and check them out. Oh, wow. It's a legit waffle that they dry out and make a rusk out of it. It's so good. I love the idea of that. Because who doesn't love waffles? Who doesn't love rusks? Put them together. Celebrate! Celebrate! You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, now we're going to mix this up together. Okay. So it might be a little bit messy at the start. It's going to be a little bit messy. And you want to be slow, you want to be slow to try, start off Again, with. try and get it all at room temperature because you're not going to miss <laughs> if you do that. But me, I'm just, I'm just in it for the adventure. There we go then. Once, once it starts getting combined, then it's... Oh, there we go. We're done. No more spillage. No more one drops. Handed, Look one at handed. that. Just mastery. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. So balsy. So let's talk about what I've got done already. I'm uh, shouting so you can hear me. Mm -hmm. Done. Okay. A uh, bit of lemon juice went in there as well. Amazing. Yes. You have to brighten up. In here, I've got those Woolies oatmeal cookies, and I crushed them up a little bit of biscuit. Okay. okay that's going to be the base. By what the I want to do now? The, the, the orange, the lemon juice. Uh -huh. Why? Just to brighten all the flavors. You got so much fat in there from your cream, your cream cheese, your condensed milk. A bit of acidity kind of just like opens up your palate. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. So half of this goes in right now. Mm -hmm. So that's over the oatmeal cookies that you've crushed. Over those oatmeal cookies. Uh huh. Stuff. Then. We spoke about these mag this magical kitchen in the Boerland, where these yes. magical people hand make these biscuits. Oh my uh. word! And they hand make the rusks with the most beautiful yeah. ingredients. It's it's home baked. It's home. Like, can you imagine walking into there? Just everything. Just the, the kitchen is warm and it's beautiful. It's delicious. It's in the air. You just have uh, every breath. That's exactly how it is in this magical kitchen. Goodness. Look at this cookie. Okay, this cookie. This cookie is not even like. 
Look at that. Oh. I mean, you. Oh the, the rule when it comes to chocolate chip cookies, every bite must have a chocolate chip in it. Or else it's not a chocolate chip true. cookie. That's true. So this is <laughs> this is the business, okay? We're going to take our bag, and then we're going to just crush these biscuits up because that's going to be the middle layer. Mm. It's all about layers, all about texture, just like life, okay? We, so we got that oatmeal cookie at the bottom. I tell you and then what, we got though. the chocolate chip. Then we got that cream cheese filling in the middle. Then we're going to have the chocolate chip layer in the center. Yes. And then another layer. It's so delicious. What I love about this, you don't have to bake this. Oh, That's the thing. Just give it a little smashing. There but, we go. But there what I do go. suggest is that you make this the day before. Okay, so it, it sits, sits beautifully. And then it slices beautifully. Oh, a little bit of milk just goodness. to soften it slightly. You don't want to have too much of a dry crumb. Also, when you start cutting, it's going to crumble everywhere. And it's like chocolate chip cookies and milk are yeah. such a treat. Why don't you just mix them together right now already? On social media, like, do you not like chocolate chip cookies? Why? Like, who are those people? Wh wh why? Let's what? talk. Let's let's talk about that. Okay, cool. Oh. No, chocolate cookies are amazing, and these are the best. These are honestly the best. These would not last a day. What's the most house. cookies you've ever eaten? Do you really want the answer to that? It's not going to be like a. It's not going to be a gentle number. It's no, gonna be... no, 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 no. But like, th and this is a different kind of cookie as well. Like, have you ever heard of, heard of dipoche? So they call dipoche, and I think like some people like to call them. They're not scones, no. Kitty Bodge. Somebody please tell me what Educate me. Bodge what anyway, is that? so my, my grandma used to make these, man. Like, um, it's, it's, it's flour, egg butter, and then she'd have um, gra gra the, the skin of a, an orange to okay. give it a bit of a zestiness to it and sugar to it. It would be just amazing. The whole house would just be smelling like cookies. Oh. Anyway, anyway. Uh, once they were made, I once had a plate of like eight, but these cookies are like this size. Okay. Yeah. So I'm one cup you, of like, tea yeah. and eight of them. Just hum, 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 and then at the end, just put them all in there, and then they form like this cookie paste. Ah, ah. Wow, I can see it, I, the emotion. Wow, can someone get a close up on that face, please? Wow, it's a lot of that. Love it, There's feel it, feel it, feeling you. Because food does that to people. Like, I'm my most emotional when I'm around like my friends and family and food. Yeah. Man, I actually, like, I just get so emotional, honestly. Yeah, and you know, when you're emotional, you celebrate! celebrate. That's All what right. it's about. So we got our beautiful, beautiful set cheesecake. I want to decorate it with these what chocolate, is there? What you got? These chocolate things. Want to try one? It's early in the morning. No, okay, don't. no, it's fine. It's fine. It's, it's fine. it's fine. it's fine. It's fine. Salted caramel, by the way, because why not? You just want to kind of dot this oh, around there. Come on, this is your birthday cake now. Every guys. day should you should we we, talk, we said it we said it Whether every it's day your birthday just, or not, just, just celebrate that. just celebrate that celebrate. That looks amazing. How does that look? It looks so that amazing. That looks incredible. I mean, like, I wish we had some people in studio to help us eat this, but I mean... Uh, you know, yeah, we'll just have to do it on our own. We just have to do it on our own. I mean, like, how does that look? It looks amazing! Mountains of deliciousness, you know? Ah, celebrate. What do you just, think? What do you think? What do you think? Ah, uh, tectonic plates on mm, the cake. I mm. love it. I love it. it. It looks absolutely great. Uh, try it out at home. The recipe is available, of course, on our website, expressoshow.com. And of course, don't forget to also uh, be part of the daily difference in someone's life. Be part of the daily difference in a community's life, if you can, of course, during this time of COVID-19. Uh, there's a QR code on your screen that you need to uh, scan with mm -hmm. your Snap Scan app, um, if you're able to, and for as little as 10 Rand, donating 10 Rand to the Filler Bag campaign, you are able to feed someone three meals for a day and uh, there's no telling what difference you can actually make if you just go and extend yourself a little bit further tell your friends about it all of those friends on the Facebook groups on the whatsapp groups challenge your your family to be part of the daily difference this is what Woody's is doing with gift of the givers with this wonderful campaign called fill a bag and it's a way in which we can all help each other through this very very difficult time so go ahead and do it come on and you know what when you're done scanning that QR code and making a difference, what do you do? You, you celebrate! celebrate! Done.